Hello and welcome to my mini-series, What You Should Know About Diablo 3. This is episode 1 and in this I will be covering all the playable characters that will come with the game. When the game first launches there will be 5 playable characters, the Barbarian, the Demon Hunter, the Monk, the Witch Doctor, and the Wizard. First we will do a rundown of each class describing what makes them so unique and different from each other. Up first is the Barbarian. They are a very up close and personal class, specializing in hand to hand combat. They rely on Fairy, which is charged by either damaging foes or taking hits from them. Once a Barbarian has built up enough Fury, they unleash very powerful and destructive attacks that will send even the most mightiest foes back to hell. The Barbarian can also use shouts that will buff allies or send foes running in fear. The Barbarian can dual wield many one handed items and wear the heaviest armor you can find or make. Items that are only made for Barbarians are Mighty Belts and Mighty Weapons. Next up we have the Demon Hunter. This class specializes in ranged weapons, traps, and dips into the shadow arts. With all these at hand you will find it hard not to slip into the shadows and sneak up on unknowing foes and make dust of them before they even knew what happened. The Demon Hunter uses two different resources, Hatred and Discipline. Hatred is recovered very fast and is used for attacks, while Discipline fills up very slowly and is used to avoid damage. And learning to balance these will take some time. The Demon Hunters can use a lot of the normal items, but the quivers and hand crossbows are what make them shine. Monks are another melee class that uses spirit to execute massive combos, powerful hits, or other abilities to move themselves away from danger in a blink of an eye. Their speed is what makes their combos so deadly. The monk is also very good at healing thanks to their mantras, which can be used to heal and protect the monk and nearby allies. The monk's martial arts skills are shown through the use of fist weapons. They are also able to use other items, but spirit stones and diablos will bring his will into focus. The witch doctor is a force to be reckoned with. With the ability to assault the minds of foes, summon creatures from the netherworld, and unleash plagues onto others all at the cost of mana. Mana is a slowly regenerating pool of spiritual energy that the witch doctor can tap into. With all these skills at hand, the Witch Doctor can easily blur the line between friend and foe, causing large groups of enemies to fight each other to the death, while the Witch Doctor can unleash bats or toads to finish off the rest of them. The Witch Doctor is able to increase their mana pool and damage with items made only for them. These would include voodoo masks, offhand mojos, and one-handed ceremonial knives. Wizards are higher ranked sorceresses that were found in Diablo 2. These wizards use the elements at their will at the cost of arcane power, the source that allows them to cast such powerful attacks. This arcane power refills fast and will let the wizard cast endlessly even if it's the most weakest skill. The wizard can cover an entire area with attacks that will either freeze, slow, or crush an enemy. The wizard can also make copies of themselves and cast protective barriers that will harm anyone that tries to attack them. The wizard can increase its power by equipping wizard hats, orbs, and wands. And there you have it, all five playable classes in Diablo 3. So which one do you think you will only start with when the game comes out? My personal selection is the Witch Doctor. So just leave a comment below and just let us know what you think and which one you will be starting with. See ya!